Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we are going to finally hook up our API to our app. So here I have my app running. Uh, sorry, my API running. Here is the profile. Here are the profiles. It's empty. And I have my app running here, right? So I do have two v VS codes open, one running my API, one running my app. And then I also have my Postman open to be ready to create um, profiles. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I I need something that will allow me to get API. Uh, sorry, allow me to get profiles from my API. For this, I'm going to be using Axios. So I'm going to go npm install Axios. Okay, so once that's installed, let's go into our package.json and verify that it's there. There it is. Nice. Okay. So. For this, I want to actually go on the profile page, and here is where I will just display these profiles. This will be a quick, this will be a quick uh, solution to just make sure I am getting these profiles. So I'm gonna make a div, and where I'm gonna display my profiles, and I'm gonna make a property. I'm gonna call it profiles. And I'm gonna make it an array. Then I'm gonna make a v4 loop. I'm going to display some information based on the profiles that I get. So uh, with a V4, you need a key. So p.id. Okay, and p.name, or was it first name? It was first name. Okay, so first name there we go <clears throat> okay so then what I want to do is I want to import axis um, axis and now I can start using it so what I can do is I can do axis dot get and what I want to do is I want to grab this root I want to put it here so once we're getting information from here, we can then call then. And here we grab a result. And we can do this dot profiles equals rest dot data. Okay. So this will be it for now. Let's go ahead and uh, serve our application. Okay. So let me refresh this. Good. So the first issue that we are going to get, and this is uh, one of the most common ones uh, when you are have it, when you have an API and a client as uh, separated applications, and you have them running on two different addresses, you're going to run into course issues. And essentially, what course is is that you cannot call another address without for information without it giving you permission okay so for this we will have to go into our api let's open the startup and here we will have to configure course okay in our up here let's type in use course okay and then inside of here We specify some options, and in the, in the options, we want to say allow any origin, and we want to go as far as saying allow credentials, okay, allow any method, and allow any header get out okay that should be good let's go ahead back in here and let's refresh this okay so now we're getting our profiles so this error is gone and we are allowing essentially with this we're allowing any other domain to call this API. So in production application, you would configure this to 
is the specific uh, URL or you would protect it with a key. But for now, this will do for our development environment. So let me minimize this. We should not have to open that again for the duration of this episode. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and uh, post this profile. So it's just test one, tester sent H899. And now let's refresh here. And here we have our profile test one. Okay, cool. So essentially we hooked up our view app to our API. And the last thing I would like to cover here is making Axios global. Okay, so to do this, we want to go into our main.js file and let's import Axios here. This step is, by the way, this is not mandatory. This is something I just want to show you how to do. And usually I don't really do this myself because I end up importing Axios anyway when uh, using it with UX. But I think it's important to just know that this option is out there and available for you to use. Okay. So let's create a, and let's call it API. And um, we're going to call Axios create okay and in here we're gonna supply a base url and our base url is going to be this api right here so let me paste it in here let me close this off nice so uh, i won't touch that for now now what i want to do is create a plugin so let's call this axios plugin and uh, we will create a new object and this plugin will have a install function where we will pass in the view instance to the install function and in this install function we want to prototype our api and we want to assign our API to it. Okay, so once we have our plugin, all we want to do is call view.use and bring in our Axios plugin in here. Okay, cool. So what this gives us is let's remove this import Axios. Let's call this dot API instead. And let's refresh this. And here we go. So now we can access our Axios instance anywhere in our application through this dollar sign API. Okay. And to quickly go over this code again, here we create an Axios instance where the base URL is going to be this address here. So what that means is we can go ahead and remove this part here. And it will still work fine. Okay, so we no longer have to specify HTTP slash slash localhost 3000. We can just uh, specify the address that goes after. Okay. Uh, next thing that we do is we create an Axios plugin. So Axios plugins are by default just an object which have to have an install method, right? And to this install method, when we call use here, uh, the view instance is passed to this install plugin, right? So, and then we just use this view instance to prototype this API and assign this instance that we created to this plugin, and we're using this plugin, All right? I will leave a link in the description, um, which will tell you more about plugins, and you can go and read that. But this will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you're enjoying these videos, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, see you in the next episode.